Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the finale for my spring project. Use it up. I know I did not update in May, but you guys, I just really took a break from YouTube. I'm sorry. It was totally much needed. I actually came back with a new mic. So let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to be like testing it back and forth. But yeah, I have a ton of empties to share with you guys because I didn't update in a month. So I have so many empties. I think this is probably the most that I've ever finished in a, in a project use it up like ever. So I'm going to go through all of my empties throughout the entire spring project. So I have actually on the bed a few from the past couple of months, but I have, I think double that over here next to me. So I'm just going to let you in on all the empties that I got. And I will be waiting to start the summer project use it up until my order from Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale comes in the mail. So I did do an order online instead of going in stores. And I'm just waiting on that stuff to come in because I'm actually like totally out of body lotions besides what I've saved for fall and winter. So yeah, I need a little bit of a restock to be able to do a summer project. So that's always good news, but let's go ahead and get started with my empties. Okay, I moved the mic a little further down because after hearing that first clip, it's a little loud and I realize now I can kind of talk normally. So that's really fun. I don't have to talk loud to pick it up on the camera. So that's really awesome. So let's get into the empties now. So first I have my iced sugar plum set. This goes way back to my winter project use it up and I finally finished the shower gel. So I was a little bit like I had the tiniest bit left. So I finally finished it. Really happy about that. I liked this scent. It was nice, honestly. Good for a year round scent. It's just like a sweet, sugary, fruity scent. And then I also have the fine fragrance mist and I'm almost done. Okay, I have a little bit left. So last time I updated you guys, we were up here and now we're down to here. You can see I have just the tiniest bit left. So I think I'll just finish this up before I start the summer project, but it's, it's so little, it barely squirts out anymore. So I'm gonna consider it an empty. Um, and I think this is my first Fine Fragrance Miss Empty of the year. So really happy about that. You can see we started it in the winter all the way up here. And I'm very happy about how this went because this one is from 2022. So it's only two years old and I finished it up. So I feel really good about that. Or not even two, it's like a year and a half. And I finished it. And really I finished it with like six months of consistent use. So I'm pretty happy about that and really happy to have it finished. So now I have my In The Stars set, which I believe started out with like five products and I finished almost all of them. The only one I didn't finish is the Pacifica Sunrise Moon Perfume. And this one is like a Mandarin scent. It smells so good and juicy. I did get some progress. You can see from here to here, which for me for a perfume is like a pretty good size. I actually love this. It is such a juicy citrus scent. It's so yummy. I think I am going to try to put this into the summer project somehow. I don't really know what it's going to go with because I need something fruity and I don't really own any more fruity stuff. So we'll see. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It's nice and juicy and I liked it a lot. Okay. Now for the other three that I did finish is the in the stars body lotion. Totally finished this one up. I loved it so much. It was up here the last time I updated you guys and I just guzzled it down. Not really. Um, I just used it so quickly. So absolutely love this. I love in the stars. I think I would definitely get it again. Um, probably more so around like the holidays and going into winter. It's like a really nice sophisticated scent. Made me feel girly and made me feel kind of more like a woman, you know, like it made me feel grown up and it's such a pretty scent and it's very like sparkling too. So I love that. And then we have the moisturizing body lotion, which again is almost finished it is very very close it's like sputtering out it's so close to being empty but last time i empty you guys we were up here and now we're down to here so i'm just going to consider it also an empty because it's pretty much done but that's the moisturizing body wash and then i have the gingham vibrant foaming sugar scrub i really like this not honestly not the biggest fan of the scent it was nice. I wouldn't purchase it again, but I really love the formula of the foam and sugar scrub. So that's why I love this one and got through it really quickly. Um, last time I updated you guys, we were up here and now we are done. Yeah, really liked it. Definitely need to up my scrub game. I'm waiting for them to go on a little bit more sale for SAS. 
before I purchase some more because I don't have any other ones besides, I think I have a pumpkin one for fall and I have a couple like three or four for winter time, but I don't have any just regular body scrubs anymore. So I use them all, which is good and bad. Next, I have my little strawberry pound cake set. I believe I had a lotion in that I already finished. And then I had a Ariana Grande mini perfume, which I lost. So I don't know where it went. I think maybe I traveled with it and it's like lost in one of my purses or one of my uh, backpacks or something. I can't find it. So that's really sad, but I didn't use it a lot because I lost it. So I'm sorry, I don't have an update on that one, but strawberry pound cake in the fine fragrance mist. I did use a little bit from here to here and I enjoyed it. I love strawberry pound cake. It's really yummy. I was just really focusing on um, ice sugar plum more, so I didn't use it that much, but I did also finish the strawberry guava coconut philosophy body wash. I loved this stuff. It was up to here the last time I updated you guys and I totally finished it, which is like unheard of for me for these big size um, philosophy shower gels. So I would definitely get another one and I probably will be looking at TJ Maxx sometime soon to see if I can find another one, but I don't know what scent I want. So let me know if you guys have a favorite scent from philosophy that you love in the shower gel and I will go check it out. And lastly, we have my vanilla coffee scent routine, which I finished off three out of the five products on, and I'm really proud of that. So for the three that I finished, I finished off the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush 71 Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. Oh my God, you guys, this scent is so good. It is like vanilla sugar cookie. It is so yummy and gourmand and just delicious and stays on really well for fine fragrance mist, in my opinion, and I loved it so much. We were right here last time I updated you guys, so really close to being finished. So I finally finished that one off. I finished off my Midnight Amber Glow body lotion, which was unused when I put it in last time, I guess at the end of April when I put it in. And yeah, I love this so much. I really hope that they bring this back for the fall or something similar like the um, Vanilla Mocha Cafe scent. I hope they bring something like that back because I'm missing my like vanilla chocolate scents. So yeah, sad that I finished this one actually because it's one of my favorites, but happy that I got through another lotion. And then I also finished my Fenty Skin little mini butter drop and this is in Vanilla Dream. Really love this. The formula of these is so good. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it in the summer though. I think it's just a little too thick. So I still have one in the original scent, which I think is unscented. Um, that I will probably save for the fall or the winter, but I really liked this one. I like the shimmeriness of it. It was really fun to put on and go out and have like little shimmery skin. It felt really fun. So I loved it. The vanilla scent is not my favorite. I really love the warm cinnamon one better, but I still like the vanilla one and I would definitely get one again that is scented. In the last two things that I did not finish, I have the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. I really didn't get through a lot of this. You can like barely tell that I even used it, but I swear I used it almost daily for an entire month and not a lot came out. So I feel like this is going to be like a purse perfume now. Since it's an oil, it doesn't really like have a lot that comes out when you put it on. So I think I'm just going to put it in my purse and use it that way, just like an on the go kind of perfume. Um, and then we have Tree Hut Velvet Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm going to be honest, I kind of don't like this. It is almost too strong. I did get about, I would say one third of the way through this. It's way too strong. It is so strong smelling of like espresso coffee beans, like freshly ground, which yes, smells good sometimes, but like, oh my God, it's way too much. So I don't know how I'm going to get through this because it's like, it's so intense. Yeah, it's really not my favorite, so I didn't use it that much. So that's this one. We're just going to put it back in the collection, I guess. Okay, you guys, here is everything laid out. What I finished in the entirety of the Spring Project Use It Up, and this is 17 items, so I can confirm this is the most I've ever used. I think the last couple of projects I've been teetering around 15, so this is the most. And it's so funny that I actually have each lotion and shower gel matched up for what I actually used it for. So I have Midnight Amber Glow and a vanilla mocha cream shower gel. These were used together. I have in the stars in the body lotion and life of the party in the shower gel. I have ice sugar plum in both the lotion and the shower gel. And then I have twilight woods in the lotion and strawberry guava coconut in the shower gel from philosophy. I also have the in the stars moisturizing body wash, the Fenty beauty butter drop in vanilla. 
I have the Gingham Vibrant Foaming Sugar Scrub. I also have the Enchanted Candy Potion Body Cream. I finished off two Fine Fragrance Mists, one from Sol de Janeiro in 71, and then Bath and Body Works Iced Sugar Plum. I finished off one hand cream in the stars. I finished off more than this, but this was the only one that was in the project. And then I finished off two perfumes, both from Ariana Grande. This is Sweet Like Candy and a little mini. And then the little mini perfume in Mod Vanilla. So that is it for my spring project. Use it up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm really proud of the progress that I made on that project. As I said, the summer one will be starting in the next couple of weeks. You should see my um, summer semi-annual sale haul come out first, and then I will do my summer project use it up. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the mic down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.